Hi, today we're going to take a look at ratios in real life. Now, ratios are everywhere in our lives, and today we'll look at a couple of examples. Let's get started. So you may always see the ratio of girls to boys. So in this example, let's calculate the ratio of girls to boys. So there's one girl, two girl, three girl, four girl. Okay, so there's four girls. Two, let's check how many boys. One boy, two boy, three boy, four boy, four boy. Now remember, we can reduce this to a one-to-one -one ratio. That means that the amount of girls and the amount of boys are the same. And as you can see, we can actually group these so that for every girl, there is a boy. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at the next example. Pets. So you might do this in your class where you see the ratio of pets. So in this one, I want us to find the ratio of, let me get the black, fish to cats to dogs. So this is a little different from the examples we've done before because there are three things we are comparing. But we can still do it. So how many fish are there? One, two. So two fish, two. Let's see how many cats. One, two, three cats. Two. How many dogs? Let's see. One, two, three, four. So the ratio is 2 to 3 to 4. Now realize because these are 3, we cannot put, we cannot represent this through fractions or decimals. We can only represent ratios that compare two things in a fraction or decimal form. Okay? Now another uh, ratio that you might see in your school is the student to teacher ratio. So let's see what the student to teacher ratio is. So how many students are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine students. To how many teacher? Well, there's one teacher. So the student to teacher ratio is nine to one. Okay, I hope that helped, and I hope you'll be seeing ratios all around your life, and I hope to see you soon.